Hi everyone, I'm jumping in early this evening because I had promised to show you some of the items that I had made for the Maker's Market at the Hive. And many of you know that it was canceled due to weather um, last week. So, um, oops. Uh, I wanted to show you because I had lots of some questions about some of the items. So I'm gonna take a little time today and I'm going to show you the items. And I'm gonna also be doing my 7 p.m. Facebook Live demonstration as well. And um, so jump on in. And if you have any questions or comments as I'm going through, just let me know. And um, I guess we'll get started. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get started. We will start with the items that are for the dog in your family. I've got lots and lots of little dog um, bandanas, all different colors, all different kinds. These were very popular, and these kind um, go right onto the collar, the dog's collar. So, hey, Deb. Hey, Renee. Thank you for, for joining. Um, so these are, I, I, got, I want to make sure I had my ruler here. These are about 10 inches long and to the point about seven inches from the top to the bottom of the point. Okay, I have a friend who has a Brittany Spaniel and they are a great size for um, that dog. I'm hoping to maybe have um, more sizes available as we get closer to the holidays, but I've got lots of assorted colors and patterns. The bugs were very, very popular. Um, we've got some palm leaves and some polka dots. So those are all. Now this is a larger one. I only have a few of the larger because I've kind of been testing those out. These are about 13 inches wide and about eight inches long. So these I'm thinking might be a good size for a larger dog like a, a lab or a, I don't know. So those are available as well. These I only have limited amounts because they are just, I'm just sorting through making sizes. And I've also had people ask for tiny ones too. So um, we, I'll be working on that. And as you know, this month's was canceled. I am on the schedule for next month at the Hive, which is the second Saturday from 10 to two. I am on the waiting list for S September and then I'm on for October and that's the last one. So we'll see if I can get in for that one. That would be great. They're such fun and it's a great, great crowd of, of gals that come out in guys. So those are my dog bandanas. They are $5. All right, then I have my little um, dog poop bag holders. I mean, you gotta have a matching poop bag holder. This one has the little bugs on it. And I love it because it has, I put a little um, hook on the end like that. And it comes with a bag already started. It, the bag goes in this end where the slit is. And then you pull it through the, the um, hole that I have on this side. And it works really well. I've kind of, um, incorporated two different types of design. One had just that and one had this with a zipper and I just thought this was a better combination. And you can hang it from the leash or you can hang it from your purse, whatever you need there. So that is the poop bags and I believe those are eight. I'm gonna have to go back and check my prices. All right, then we have these cute little uh, pencil cases that go right on your journals. Now I'll show you I have mine here. Um, I always carry a journal. I have a journal that I keep track of my appointments and my calendar. And these are about eight inches by six inches. And then here's an, another one of the cute little 
um, pencil cases and they open up here with a zipper and then you can put your pens and pencils and erasers and post-it notes and whatever and you'll have it right on hand for um, using with your uh, journal. So these are super cute and I believe these are eight dollars. Okay and I've got lots of different colors here. I've got plain colors and I have some donuts and florals and stars, all kinds of stuff. So these are all the same size. They will fit the nine by, did I say nine or eight? Eight, I'm sorry, eight by five and a half size journal. Okay, these are the kind of the basic size of journals. So those are those, and I believe they are $8. All right. Next, I have these cute little snap pouches. These are great to have around the house. If you need to put little, if you're a crafter and you need something to put little items in, these are great. These are called snappy pouches, and they open up like this, and then they just snap closed. Okay, and they are available in many, many different colors, all the same size. Let me measure again the size. This is five and a half by five. Okay, and the secret for the snap is the metal measuring tapes that you can get that, um, at a... You can get them at any big box store or at a hardware store, and it uses um, pieces of that to make the snap there. But these are great for in your purse if you have little things that you need to keep, or they're great for um, corralling little items if you're a crafter. Okay, so that is the snappy pouches, and they are $5. Okay. And then here we have my one of my favorites. These are happy pouches, and these are made using, um, I use a lot of different fabrics, and I quilt them onto the front using that, and then they, they are also have a good bit of batting, so they're nice and soft size. Let's see, this would make a great pencil case. It would make a great cosmetic case. That's seven by five and a half, okay? And they come with a little D-ring and a little wristlet so that you can carry it along if you wanna just use it as a little purse when you go out. It's a great way, it can hold a little bit of things all fully lined on the inside. I have tab zipper on the top and we've got lots of different colors here. I love this one. This is kind of all the same color fabric, just different designs. Here's another one. I love this. So, so pretty. And then this one might be my favorite. It has some of the bees and a couple of lemon slices. So this is super pretty. Front and back are pretty similar, not exactly the same. Now these take a little more time, so these are $20 um, at the Maker's Market. All right, let's see what we have left here. Oh, let me show you some more of these. These are some more of the little um, dog poop bag holders. I've got lots and lots of different colors, all come with the hook on the end, and many, many of them have the coordinating um, bandana. So I just wanted to show you those as well. Okay, now let's get into some of the more popular items. My bowl cozies were very, very popular. Let me show you these. If you've never heard of a bowl cozy, it's a little quilted item that you can put a hot bowl. Now this is my daughter made this bowl of soup so that I can show just how it works, but it's a great thing to have if you have a bowl of soup or a bowl of ice cream that you wanna take into the um, living room or family room and um, 
won't get your hands burned, won't feel cold, all that good stuff. So these, my collection I've made for the summer are all rainbow. You can notice that they're reversible. You can turn them on either side and they will look great. They are filled with batting that is microwave safe. So if you want to put them in the microwave, um, they are able to be in the microwave for two minute bursts of time. So if you look here, I've got all different types, but everything is kind of rainbow colors. I made a bunch of these. So these will be at next month's um, Maker's Market, but these sold out very quickly last time, and these are $10. Okay, these were $10, so that is the bowl cozies. All right, let me show you. This is a new item that I was going to have last week. These are really fun to make, but this is a something you can hang on your backpack or your purse, and it opens up with a magnetic clasp, magnetic snap, and I have, hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> me too. Does look like DSP. And then for this one, you will get a little bottle of hand sanitizer. This is great for the times that we're living in. We need a lot of hand sanitizer, but this could also be something you could hang on the outside of your backpack or your purse that might have lip gloss or just something you need to get to really, really fast. Okay, so, but it is large enough for a, let's see, that is a two fluid ounces of hand sanitizer. Okay, it is fully lined. This one has a coordinating polka dot on the inside, and it has a little crossover strap where we have our D-ring and your little hook to go on whatever you need it to go on. And then it just slides very nicely into there. And then you have the nice magnetic clasp that is super easy to um, close. And I have these in all different colors. You would probably know that. And you probably, some of the colors might look a little familiar. And you got some stars. And we've got the cute coffee, coffee mugs. And here's some cupcakes. There are lots of fun to make. And then we have cute little monkeys. Okay, so these are $10 as well. They include the bottle of hand sanitizer in there, but this would be a great back to school gift for a friend. I'm gonna give these to some of my teacher friends probably. Oh, and here's another one I really like, the kind of the red bandana pattern really cute and then on the inside is like a blue um plaid so that's really really cute yep so very fun enjoyed making those as well and then we have my reusable snack bags let me grab one here these B ones are very, very, very popular. This is the reusable snack bag. Let me grab my, um, oop, let me get this. I hope this wire isn't in the way. Move that over here. Okay, this is the large size. Let me take this down. Okay, this is the large size and they measure across about seven and a half and down about seven. And they do have a flat bottom. So when you're eating your snacks or whatever, it will sit up on your desk or your counter. Okay, this one is bees, but you know I have lots of different ones here. I did the um, zippers with the tabs, so they'll open very nicely. On the inside, you have pool fabric, which is a food safe fabric. So all you really need to do after you use it with your snacks, maybe your 
chips or your whatever you want to have in here, you can just soap in water and get all that off. And then you can just let it dry overnight and then it's ready for the next time. So it's just a great alternative to the Ziploc bags that everyone uses. So this is the large size. Let me show you some more of these. I found a gr pretty gray B, B pattern. And then I have a couple of um, more standard quilted. This one has quilting on it. Really, really cute. All of them have the pool fabric inside. This one I add a little bit of cork fabric on the bottom and that stands up really, really nicely. And I have a little bit of the um, quilting blocks on there. But this one, I just started using this cork fabric and I really love it. It really is a nice, nice addition to the, um, the bags. All right, so let's see what else I have. Here I have one with cork and some avocados. Some of them I've, I've just got my labels and I put those on some of them. So some of them you'll notice have a little Wexford handmade label. This one also has the cork on the bottom. This one, I put a little bit of vinyl on the bottom. This is some navy blue vinyl. And then I took some fabric for the top and I did a little bit of um, quilting on that. Very pretty, I love that combination, really, really, really pretty. And again, it opens with the two tabs on the top of the zipper and we have the pool on the inside. Hey Jody, nice to see you. Then we have these two cute little um, quilted um, large ones. These have the lemons. Let's see what else we have here. Here's another flowered one with the cork on the bottom. I just kind of really enjoying bringing in the new kinds of fabric. So that is cork as well. Then we have this one. This is a canvas. Very nice and bright and colorful. Remember, they all stand up. And let's see, this one, if you have some kids that play video games, you might recognize some of these characters. They are from Animal Crossing. And again, I use the um, vinyl on the bottom. All right, and I have one more set here of the large, one more I mean. And this one ha is a d black with the cute little leaves on it. I really love that fabric. Had us grab that fabric. And then of course the pool on the inside of every one of them. So those are the large and that's what I had available at my last one. But for this one, I also included the small. So this is a small snack bag. Let me show you and give you a size. It is six and a half by four and a half. So this is the smaller size of the snack bags. Same thing, we have the nice tab ends on the zipper. This one has a little bit of the cork on the bottom, but they all have the inside pool fabric that is food safe and very easy to clean with soap and water between uses. So that's one with the coffee um, cups on. Then I have a, this one is just quilted with donuts. There we have the bees. So you can buy the large and the small together. The smalls are 10 and the larges are 15. So you could get the pair for 25. Let's see what else I have. Here's the pretty canvas that I showed you on the large and the small. And there's my avocado. Look at that, I love that with the, with the cork. That's really pretty. And I already showed you that one. Here's one with the little sea turtles. And this one has is the black with the leaves, like the large. And then here is one gray with the bees on it. So these are all the same. They have the flat bottoms, the pool fabric with a nice zipper on top and they are now gonna be available. Um, the smalls are just available um, now, and they are $10. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
think I'm getting down to the end of most things. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask. Let's see. I have a couple of new things here that I'm going to, was going to share. So I can do that now. These will probably, oh, no, wait. Okay. Here I have some of these project um, file bags. You notice that they, you can fit a file, okay, a file envelope, and you can fit a catalog that can all go in here. You could put an iPad in there. It's, it'd be something that would be really pretty and fun to take to a class or take to a meeting or something like that. These are called project files. These, I believe, are 20 as well. These are nice and big. Let me measure these. These are about 13 inches by 11 inches. So they're gonna be big enough to hold a lot of the standard size notebooks. And this one, I did a little bit of quilting. This one too is a real pretty one with the cute little red flowers. And then I love this one too with the lemons, okay? All of them have the zipper across the top and they all are fully lined on the inside with a coordinating fabric. Okay, and those are 20. Okay, and I have one other thing I'm gonna share and these are new for next month. I've been playing around and trying to decide on the perfect size, but if you have friends that are cross stitchers or do small um, crocheting or that, something like that, these are great project, vinyl project holders. So the front of your envelope is going to be clear. I used a piece of vinyl here on the front and then the makeup of it is very similar to the ones I just showed you. They're a little smaller. These are really meant for to keep cross stitch projects clean and all together, keep the needles and the floss and your cross stitch hoop and everything all together in the bag. Um, they come with a zipper here and this one is on the inside is the same as the outside. Some of them are a little different. This one has oranges front and back. This one is cute. This one I was I just made a little while ago. This one has cute little sewing notions on it. And you just put your items down in here. And I like it because you can see what's happening in there. And you know what you got in there without opening it. Here's a cute one with lemons. But these you could keep lots of different projects separate, but all stacked together and with the nice um, vinyl in the front, you'll be able to see what's inside. Let me go ahead and measure these quickly. This one is um, eight by 11. And this is a small size. Okay, I will also have a large size available. I've only made one of those and I gave it to Hannah for her cross stitching things, but I will have some of the large available at the next um, Maker's Market, which is the second Saturday in August. All right, so there's that one front and back. And then this is the last one here with some pineapples. And I have just used a coordinating fabric and um, very, very fun to make and would be something that um, a crafter would really love to have to keep track of all the projects. So I think that's all my items that I had at the Maker's Market. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell these for eight and then the larger ones for 10. And those will be available in August. But if there's anything that you saw today that you're interested in or will have questions about, please don't hesitate to um, get in touch with me and I can answer any questions that you want and um, I can hold any that you'd like to, for purchase. So thank you folks for jumping on and seeing what um, my 
projects were. Unfortunately, the maker's market was canceled due to rain and then it didn't even rain. So, um, but we are keeping our fingers crossed for August. So hopefully it will be a nice sunny day. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off here and then in about a half an hour, I'm gonna be coming back on to do my weekly Facebook Live tutorial. So thanks again, and please share this video with anybody you think would be interested in any of the items. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.